Yo, what's up, people? <coughs> Today I'm gonna. Well, first of all, a lot of people have been asking me for my rendering settings and my broadcasting settings for JTV and other stuff. <coughs> Go ahead and get both of those out today in a video. And also, as you can tell with my incredibly boring voice, this is the reason I don't do commentaries. And plus, I feel commentaries are boring and just, they don't fit me. Alright, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is go to Project Video Settings. Get out of here. Project Video Settings. Change everything to what you see here. Um, with height. You don't need any field order or uh, progressive scan unless you're in 1080i or 480i or any type of interlace the thing and then you're going to click start all new projects with these settings and click apply and uh, it'll change everything to this and make sure make sure you have full resolution at best and then audio make sure you have full resolution at best I mean, not resolution we sample and stretch quality the best and stereo 5.1 surround uh, I might mess around with 5.1 sound you can, tr you can try it uh, and from there you can, uh, I already have this set here and I have uh, what I have in here I have color corrections only thing you really need to change is the saturation oh I lost that here it's only 43 and 8 whatever the 2.138 that's what I'm using and this is that's what it looks like this alright I'll resize this back down <sighs> see if you delete it it looks kinda bland to me, to me. that looks just kinda boring you can also use some sharpen but I really don't use sharpen and from there you're gonna wanna Go ahead. Oh, one thing I left out. Uh, what you're gonna do for your gameplay video is to make them look uh, extremely good. This is the video that I'm currently uploading and editing while we speak. You're gonna wanna go to properties and it's gonna automatically be on smart resample. Don't do that. Go to disable resample. That's the one you want. Disable resample. And leave pixel, pixel aspect ratio at a thousand square. And don't mess with this unless you're in interlace video, 1080i or whatever. Uh, unclick maintain aspect ratio, and you should be good. Also, reason click uh, main um uh, don't maintain aspect ratio. So when you go to switch to your crop settings and stuff, it'll 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 stretch and look good. That's pretty much it. Go ahead and uh, resume the video now. And try and render it out. And uh, I first of all, you want to go to into uh, main concept ABC slash AAC dot MP4. That's the one you're gonna want to use. You can also use uh, WMV, but that takes longer to render. It, it kind of works like this: MP4 renders faster in higher quality with uh, and it's a smaller file size, and WMV renders slower. And that's quality, but it uploads a lot faster to YouTube. Like uh, a video that I render in MP4 may take, let's say, about 20, like 20, 25 minutes. Because uh, my upload speed is about five or six, which isn't the greatest. I'm thinking about upgrading my files because I already have files, but I'm gonna upgrade to a better package. And um, you're gonna want to take. You know, uh, well, it depends on what you want. WMV for upload speed, MP4 for quality and uh, what you call it, quality and render time. So I just go with MP4 because like they have better quality. Then once you're in an MP4, they're going to be two presets. But you're going to want to just click custom and type in whatever you want it to say up here for the new template, and then you want to change everything to what you see here. Uh, except for this, I think I'm gonna change this. Make this frame rate. And uh, you, you can try uh, 60 frames per second. I'm not sure if YouTube will take that, but change it to everything that's here. It's 9.940. And change your bypass rates to 
Maximum DPS, average DPS. Choose them to the highest they can go. And then have bear will be right that, that concept. T pass, you can mess with that if you want to. Uh make sure these are at the highest, then you wanna go over the audio, make sure you have include audio. Uh highest it can go. Project, make sure your window quality is best. And uh pace aspect ratio, leave that at 1000, 1 1.3, it's gonna look kinda weird. And if you're in uh using an interlace video, switch this from progressive scan to upper or lower fill and that'll deinterlace your video for you. You can also do it. Wow, I've done this so many times now. <coughs> Keep forgetting to do this. Alright. Also when you render it and you finish customizing all your settings, click this little button that says save template. Template. So you gotta do. Got your thing here. Why is this not here? Uh, here we go. Save the template. There you go. Bam. Alright. Sick of this. And you can also do that from here too. Oh yeah, the interlace method info for blend fill. Uh, you can, I think blend fill is the one that works to interlace, de interlace the best. You can try whichever one and mess around with it if you want to. But I prefer 720p. You don't have to mess with any of that. And plus, when you de interlace videos and stuff, it the quality looks worse. And uh, go from there, you render it, and there you go. That's pretty much it. I think I gave out my... Yeah, I gave out that, that, that. Um, I record everything in .ts. And also, if you're using an IV media, just like, oh, wait, before I get to that, you're also going to want to change the, uh, what should I call it, the event pan and, event pan and crop. I already have a preset, which you should make one too, so you can get rid of that little black bar that's on the side here. Like if it was on default, there's a little black bar. When it's in my preset, there's no black bar. And if you want to know how to just like shift over one side or not, just uh, was it control and hold this down, hold down control, and just you can drag this back and forth. Like, let me go to default so I can just mess with it real quick. Uh, here yeah, control, you can drag one side like this. You can hit control alt. You can mess up only, you can mess up only one side. And that's pretty much it. Go ahead and exit out of Vegas. Note that I want the same settings. Now, for part 2, exploit. Uh, it's gonna take a couple few seconds. I also have Wirecast, but I don't really use Wirecast. Uh, if you have a BMI Pro, use Wirecast, but I screen cap. And I use that with exploit. I'm going to show you what I do with that in a few seconds. Alright. Everything had to change. First of all, this is my screen cap one. Got the scene one. Let me turn this off. Alright. Do scale point actual resolution. Resolution. The resolution you can run at is all based off of your. Uh, your GPU, whatever your graphics card. So, mine because I'm on a laptop. Can only it can only produce up to this resolution as far as like smooth video. But if you get a better one, you can go into 720p. This is really it. The frame rate go to 30. You can try 60. I'm gonna actually try 60 later. So that's really all that is. And uh, you want to make sure you add a screen region right here. I just go to add, add screen region, and then do that. Take out the screen region. Yeah, because I don't need it. This is the one you want. And for this, for screen capping with uh, like I told media stream, what you're gonna want to do is resolution you're gonna to want to have two monitors I, I use my TV as a monitor when I'm 
downstairs with my TV. And you want to make sure that's on 1600 by 900. That's what I have. <clears throat> that's what I have for my landscape. And that's really just about it. You're going to want to take your immediate Ptolemy stream and drag that over to what your, your external monitor. And that's all you got to do from there. And you just, just then click, uh, just click. Oh, wait, huh, there's more. My bad. Another thing you're going to want to do is adjust your. See, this thing is kind of irritating me. I take this away. I use this just for the lulls. You want to go to the tool set. Alright, since the past couple of tries I've done didn't work. Hopefully this one will show <coughs> because the past couple of times I've just tried this it wouldn't show the little box that pops up so we're going to try it now hopefully it works then we'll go to tools, settings you split broadcaster user settings you don't really need any of this just whatever general uh, optimize for motion capture enable virtual camera output that allows you to use XSplit for other broadcasters like Wirecast and stuff or screen cap enable Skype interaction uh, I don't really know how that will work but whatever channels for for uh, this like I have my just not TV account and uh, testing this testing one is for well, another website called another website called in gaming this uh, I'm beta testing right now then you might go to go to edit, change what you see to here, change what you see a preset, streaming, quality, 10, my mass bit rate is at uh, bit rate is at 2500, buffer size 2000, I think the whole buffer size thing has to do with a bigger, a bigger buffer size, a uh, bigger buffer size, it, uh, it'll cause your streaming to be like farther and farther behind in time than from what's really happening. Your audio encoding format, you're gonna wanna have everything you see set here. Stereo, not mono, 22.050 KHC, 16 point, 16 bit stereo. Bitrate size you can go, 1000, 1000. Uh, codec, MP, MP3, or MP3 for broadcasting, uh, kind of what, I don't know, do whatever you want with that. Resolution, you want to stick with the 16x9 resolutions that it has here in the like it says 16x9. You can kind of want to stick with those when you go to use, when you go to stream. 16x9. These are just, some of these are presets. Like it has presets that are already there. You can go to, you know, restore the default values, whatever. You'll see all the presets. This is one too. This is like 16x9, but this doesn't say it. And uh, that's pretty much it for exploit. Hopefully this time it works. Not to go through it again. Uh, make sure you check out some other stuff. This is blindfold. <laughs> Get tired. Got carried. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, it gets hilarious. Alright, um, maybe check out my channel. My, uh, my streaming channel. Just not TV slash Perfector. Got my YouTube and stuff, which this is already on. So pretty much it. This is TF141 Ghosts. Yeah, I was just trash streaming with uh, Jay Easy and Big Snacks. Hopefully, I'm not too lazy and I can link their channels. That's pretty much it, guys. Peace.